Learning medicine is hard work. Osmosis makes it easy. It takes your lectures and notes to create a personalized study plan with exclusive videos, practice questions, and flashcards, and so much more. Try it free today. With laryngo malacia, laryngo refers to the larynx, and malacia refers to a body tissue that's soft. So laryngo malacia is a developmental condition where the larynx doesn't form right and ends up being soft and floppy. Now, normally, the epiglottis, which is a flap of cartilage just above the vocal cords, makes a firm arc over the airway. This guy's connected to the larynx by cartilaginous structures called ariepiglottic folds. In children born with laryngomalacia, the ariepiglottic folds are shorter than normal, so they end up pulling the normally arc-shaped epiglottis down into a distinctive omega shape. Weak laryngeal muscle tone is thought to cause the condition, but the exact mechanism isn't well understood. The cartilaginous tissues are also softer than normal, so they flop into the airway. This means that when the child breathes, that floppy structure gets sucked into the airway. And this causes strider, which is a high-pitched whistling sound during breathing. In some cases, the obstruction of the airway can be so bad that it makes breathing difficult. These symptoms are usually present in infants a few weeks after birth, peaking at around six months. Laryngomalacia, though, typically self-corrects around 12 to 18 months, as those throat muscles strengthen over time. If laryngomalacia is suspected based on the symptoms, the diagnosis can be made by laryngoscopy or bronchoscopy, which is using a camera to look down the throat for the classic omega-shaped epiglottis. Treatment is rarely necessary, but if the problem persists, then it can be resolved surgically. The shortened epiglottic folds can be cut, which releases the constrained omega-shaped epiglottis, restoring it to its proper shape and helping to open up the airway. Alright, as a quick recap. Laryngomalacia is a respiratory condition where the cartilaginous tissues of the larynx don't develop correctly, which leaves it soft and floppy. Shortened epiglottic folds pull the softened epiglottis into an omega shape, which obstructs the airflow and causes strider. Laryngomalacia generally resolves over time, but if it persists, it can be corrected surgically. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in a deeper dive on this topic, take a look at osmosis.org where we have flashcards, questions, and other awesome tools to help you learn medicine.